Ooh, Ooh. more cardboard. Whoa, 35 inch Toyo Open Country MTs. So this year for 2018, we decided to build a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Power Wheels. I didn't even know that they made them. However, I'm not up to date on Power Wheels at the moment, but we've got this one. It comes in like a candy blue. It's got some roll bar lighting, stubby bumper, the whole works. But at CJ Offroad, that's still a stock Power Wheels. So we're not gonna leave it like that. We're gonna modify it. We're talking long arms, air lockers, bead locks. I don't know if we have the budget for it, so Hopefully we do get some new axle suspension on this thing and really get it up in the air for one deserving kid. So this is gonna be really cool. We've always thought it'd be pretty cool to make the power wheels into a Willy style Jeep. The Willy style Jeep, been around since 41. It's what helped win World War II for our country. I thought it was a pretty cool thing to kind of take this scale Jeep and make it as close to that as we can, you know, using some paint, using some other items that we're gonna kind of throw on there, some graphics. Obviously, we're gonna throw a custom touch on there too, but it's a really cool old school vehicle that I think the kids of uh, this generation are really gonna enjoy once they hop into it. This is actually, I have this on a loop when I go off-roading. Working with Matt is really fun. You know, with him, with the Jeep knowledge, to make this, this Jeep uh, authentic, you know, Willie's Jeep. We're building it for the kids. So it's a holiday gift, you know, somebody that really deserves it. That's what takes it away from the normal day where we're installing a part, doing it for a video, and we can kind of cuss and yell at each other, and hey, go do that, or you do this, and you know, busting knuckles, breaking tools. So it's for the kids. It's plastic, so it doesn't hurt as much if you, uh, slip off the nut or slip off, you know, a bolt or whatever. Um, yeah, we're working good together. Getting the uh, body ready for paint. So we had a little bit of a mishap with the colors that we chose. Basically it was an oil-based paint and it just didn't wanna, wouldn't stick. It was wrong. Yeah, it was wrong. Matt wouldn't let me pick what I want. never let me pick what I want. Hey, when you wanted to go see Spider-Man and I wanted to go see Desperate Housewives, the movie, what did we see? Desperate Housewives to me. Hello. 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 Today I'm CJ off the road, baby. Paint has been pretty good. Uh, now that we've got the proper paint for the body, it is just about perfect. You know, we scuff it up with a 400 grit sandpaper and it's sticking exactly the way that we want it to. The bed liner on the interior looks great. It's going to be really good. Like we said, kids get in and out, you know, mud on their feet and stuff. But the exterior, we're painting everything olive drab. The paint shops that painted those original Willys Jeeps just, they had one color in the gun and sprayed everything. I think they would have let you spray the tires if you could have because everything that rolled out of there was olive drab green. So for this, we even painted like the suspension components and some of the steering because it just needs to be olive drab. Everything, it'll have some accents, you'll be able to tell it, but yeah, gotta be olive drab. Painting's going pretty good now. All right guys, now it's on to assembly. So Brendan, is Matt doing better today? Matt's doing great better. So hold on one second, before we do this, we don't have this much time to just go around with your camera, Justin. How perfect can you make it? What? <laughs> listen to that, listen to it, ready? Justin, you've got five minutes to get the f out of the video studio. Matt's doing way better. Way better. I, I would love to see the family that gets this and see the, the child play with it. You know what, it's a great experience just to make a, a child happy at the end of the day. Great joy for me to see, you know. Now it's time to show you guys what all our hard sweat and, <laughs> you got me hard, hard sweat and work. Now it's time to show you guys all our hard work. So 
So at the end of this build, we really tried to get this to resemble a Willys Jeep as much as we could. I mean, everything from the decals down to the lighting in the front is pretty relevant to what it would have looked like in 1941 to about 45. So obviously things are different. This is a Power Wheels. It doesn't have a nine slot grill as a Willys would. However, it does have working headlights and working front turn signals, which is a pretty cool thing for us. We use a set of KC Cyclones and then a set of our three quarter inch marker lights that we sell here at CJ's. Just bought them off the website, brought them down and threw them on. They have great output and they look awesome. One of the other things we threw in was some decals, which Jordan made for us. Now, we looked at a bunch of the Willys Jeeps on Google, found the images and really blew them up and got as much as we could out of them. On the front hood, we got these stars. We've got the CJ Pony Parts 1985 on the side of the hood, which just throws back to our heritage and when our company was started. Now, Brendan and I did have a great time building this Power Wheels and it's gonna go to a really deserving family, but Honestly, when we built this, we wanted to just give back to something that was bigger than all of us. This Jeep really throws back into ties and to all the great men and women that have served our country from back in the early days when this Jeep first came out. So it was a really, really good thing that we could do and just to give back to our local community. Now on behalf of all of us here at CJ Off-Road, myself, the videographers, everyone behind the scenes that make this work, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year's to all you guys. We'll be here in the New Year's, so stay tuned for all your great off-road content.